guys, so this week I want to talk about what you need for your first quarter of college. Um, you know, because I'm starting winter quarter, I already have a quarter in my, under my belt, so figured, why not? So, um, I think first off you need to really just be clean and organized, like in your own room. Um, I know it's kind of a pain in the butt to like clean, but if you kind of just keep up on everything and you just kind of put things away as they're needed to be put away and clean dishes as they're needed to be cleaned. It really shouldn't be longer than like a few minutes, you know, and it's like, sure sometimes it's fine to just kind of throw everything everywhere, but that's why you need to keep your room organized for those few days where you just don't want to. But um, definitely do that and vacuum more than you think you need to, you know. Try to vacuum at least every other week, you know. Try and keep on top of that. But um, also, um, I would really recommend um, just like having a planner, whether it be like a physical planner or like a calendar on your phone. Just somehow be organized with like your homework and putting your homework assignments in. You know, like put in the homework that you need to do that night. So, one, you can get it done effectively, you know, because you already know what you need to do, and so then you're not sitting there thinking, oh, did I need to do anything tonight? You know, so it's like already right there, you know, because it's like most teachers will give you like a syllabus of like what you're going to be doing and kind of like what homework you need to be doing, so you can just write that down in your planner and, you know, like cross it off as it happens, you know, so it's like you have more time to go and socialize and hang out and go do whatever, you know. Um, it's really, really helpful just kind of have that there to look at, to remind you. Um, yeah. Also, get organized in a group, like, organization. Join an organization, okay, is what I'm trying to say. Just, Emily and I decided to join RHA, and it was really, like, one of the best decisions because we've met so many new people, we've done so many amazing things, and it's just a, been a great time, you know, and it's like, at the beginning, you can just join as many clubs as you want to that you're interested in to find that one or two that you really want to be involved with, you know, because it's a great way to meet people, and it's a great way to just kind of be involved with the school somehow, you know, because um, being involved is cool, you know, so you're just not sitting in your room all the time, which kind of segues into my next thing, which is go and socialize with people, like, meet people in your classes, you know, and especially the ones that you're really into, you know, because y'all might have, like, a common interest, which would be awesome, you know, because that's already a great start to a friendship, is having an awesome common interest. Or maybe you'll just bomb through a class that you both hate, um, which is what happened in me in theater design, you know, it's like, I didn't necessarily hate the class, but I didn't love it either, so a lot of us just bonded over that, you know, um, it's a really great thing. Um, you know, just hanging out with people is great, again, so you're not just sitting in your room all the time, you know? Because it's fun to just have those days where you just kind of really don't want to do anything. And that's fine, but you definitely need to go and socialize because you can meet some amazing long-time friends, you know, that could be there for your whole life. Like, you know, and there's a whole bunch of different amazing types of people to meet at college, you know, like... There's just tons of different people um, coming from all over, you know, they're not necessarily from the state in which the college is located, you know, so it's a great way to meet people. Um, and pretty much finally, um, just have like a gym buddy because gym buddies are a great way to just be responsible for going to the gym together and just kind of going out, letting out some stress and energy. and. You don't need to go every day, you can just go like a few times a week, um, which is usually what I prefer doing. Um, just, you know, you're not like, oh man, I have to go work out tonight, you know, if it's just like a few times a week, it's usually a lot more manageable to go, um, and easier to like work into your schedule, and, you know, it's just kind of a great thing to go do, you know, um, it's helping keep you healthy and then you get a lot of some stress and just... You can just listen to music or read, and you don't necessarily need to break up a hard sweat if that's not what you're there for, but it's just great to just kind of go and keep active. Um, and there's also a whole bunch of different like activity clubs you can join, you know, you can do like Zumba or yoga or whatever. Um, 
you don't necessarily need to just go and stick with the equipment. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I just really want to keep this list short and basic. Um, and yeah, it's just because, you know, college is a lot of take in and it's kind of hard to remember like a huge long list of, oh my god, what do I need to do? It's easier to just keep it to a few basic things. So I will see you guys later.